Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our daily get-together live here on Facebook every morning of the week, 10.30 in the morning, where we exchange headlines, comments, suggestions, ideas, uh, topics, tips, anything that has to do with an awesome life here for us in Puerto Vallarta as an English-speaking community. We always uh, look forward to getting together and exchanging information that we know and uh, and just having a good time or learning how to have a good time down here or appreciating the good time that we're having as an English-speaking community of locals. It is a pleasure to do this every single day, and today is a very special day for me. I'll tell you why in a second, although I see that... Um, Oh, I'm getting all kinds of congratulations today. This is so, so wonderful. But before we go there, um, for those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Paco, and we do this every single day of the week. We get together to learn what it's like to live here as a local. What do we do? How do we keep busy? How do we pay our taxes? How do we file our permits for this, that, and the other? Anything that can help us discover the wonderful Ness of living in Puerto Vallarta and living in Mexico. You know, we also touch base on culture and all kinds of wonderful things, but not today. Today is Sunday. Today is Sunday, uh, December the 27th. It is Sunday fun day. No news, or at least no, no hard news to share today. We're just not going to go there. Uh, what we're going to do is just have a lovely get together. And if you're seeing a lot of folks wishing me a happy anniversary, Again, today on the 27th, at this time, at this time, it is 10.30 in the morning, 10.32, and at this time, on, De on December 27, 2001, yes, it was 2001, because 9-11 had just happened, I was just arriving in Puerto Vallarta for the very first time ever in my life. Never had been here before, but I arrived with all my chingaderas, with all my tiliches, to start a new life in Puerto Vallarta. And what a wonderful life it's been. I can tell you that the last 19 years have just been incredibly amazing, amazing. So today is my Christmas and New Year's combined. Today is my birthday thrown in because this has been a wonderful chapter in my life. Some days it's very, um, some years it's been very festive. Some years it's been full of melancholy and um and um, feelings of what did I do? But for the most part, I've had no regrets. It is just wonderful to be here. And this year in particular, it is so wonderful to be here. And I mean here with the cluster because you have become such an important part of my life. This year, you are like the best Christmas, New Year's present one could ever wish for. But enough about that and enough about me. Let me just take a quick look at your initial comments <clears throat> before we dive into what Luna wants us to talk about because she was very specific. Yes, I'm talking about you. Come here. Come on. Ben, Luna, Ben, Ben. She's like, no, come to bed. Come to bed. Um, thank you very much, Karen. I will be definitely sipping something to toast on and I will be happy to ho hold you close to me while I'm doing that. Evie's, oh my God. Evie's de Teresa is another person everybody needs to meet. How wonderful to see you, Ibis. Ibis is my good friend that owns Bamboo Naturals. And Bamboo Naturals um, has all kinds of wonderful natural soaps. Uh, Ibis sells natural soaps and, and her, her business is just wonderful. And scents, uh, and essential oils and things like that. She has a shop at um, Plaza, oh dear the plaza that is in Nuevo Vallarta. I don't remember the exact name of the plaza that is in Nuevo Vallarta, but uh, it's the one that is, oh my God, I'm going to mess this up. How about, Evis, how about you share your Facebook page with us so that other people can know what your wonderful products are all about? Um, because it's it's just wonderful, natural, healthy stuff. I love it. Um, Thank you very much, dog. You are part of that continued happiness, I swear. It is It is just wonderful to be here. Uh, Logan, I love my Logan. Logan is such a wonderful human being to have around you. Um, somehow he always manages to make you feel special, and I don't know what his secret is, uh, but he is very special to me. Uh, Kelly is getting ready to come back. Awesome, good for you, that's wonderful. 
Um, thank you very much for all these felicitaciones. Thank you very much, Angelica. Um, I wonder what it was like for you guys on your first arrival to Puerto Vallarta. What are some of the, the first memories do you have of the town? If anybody wants to share, by all means, feel free to drop a few lines in the comments because um, I'm always fascinated to learn how different people react to the city when they first get here. Um, thank you very much for that, Stephanie. It's very, very much gladly received. Um, oh, look at you. I see a welcome to Coffee and Headlines. Did I miss a new? I don't see a new. Oh, dear. I'll have to scroll more carefully, but if there's somebody here that is new and I missed you, I know that I will find you on the comments later on today. Again, if somebody has anything important to share, um, I would ask you that you add the letter Q so that we try to miss it, to not miss it during the broadcast. Um, oh, I wonder, oh, that's wonderful. Terry says, for, first trip to PV was on a cruise ship in 1981. It's changed a lot. Of course it has. And <clears throat> I've never, <clears throat> excuse me, I've never had the cruise ship experience. So I wonder how that might be um, different for, for folks. Anyhow, here we are. I have a couple of things that I want to share uh, that I've been up to uh, because I've been keeping busy. And for me, these anniversaries are not about, about um, getting shit-faced or getting... Uh, yes, I think we met back in 2001, Margaret. Absolutely. It's been a while, it's been a while. Uh, Michael says back in 95, it was like a big playground, so much fun then, interesting. Anyhow, um, I have a couple of things that I wanna share. Luna has been very quiet lately and, and moody, and I finally sat down with her and I said, Luna, what's the matter? And Luna says to me, well, I am not getting the Christmas present I was hoping for. And I said to her, um, well, what did you want for Christmas? And Luna said to me, well, what I really wanted for Christmas was a sleeping rabbit that poops when you pull on his tail. And I'm like, what the fuck? What are you talking about? So Luna was very stubborn and she says to me, well, I'm not gonna be happy until you find a sleeping rabbit that poops when you touch his tail. And you know what? I found one on YouTube. Check this out. Now, it's not my rabbit. I just found out that it is possible. I found this dude on Facebook, I mean on YouTube. But wait for this, wait for this, wait for this. There is a hand coming up. He's sleeping, there you go. Boing, Kiching. and he poops. I mean, how wonderful is that? Haven't you always wanted to have a pooping rabbit? Said Luna, Kiching. there you go again, Kiching. So. Now that we know that it is possible to have a pooping rabbit that poops while he's sleeping, while you're pulling on his tail, I suppose I must find one of those for, for Luna. And I also found, well, I was looking for this. I came across um, a certain vision from hell uh, that reminded me of my Boston past. Uh, which was wonderful as well, but you know, Boston was cold and it was icy in the winter. And I feel for the people that are watching us from snowy places, I came across this <laughs> amusing and sad UPS, UPS delivery truck video that I have to share with you. This one has absolutely no audio and it needs no audio, but these things happen up north. The, look, the poor guy was not even able to walk on the sidewalk and, and and he's like, how the fuck am I gonna get this package all the way to the door? So he climbs, da 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 da, da da boing, and there you go, another successful UPS delivery. And look, 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 he just scoots back to his truck and goes away. Oh my goodness, I feel for folks that uh, are sitting up north and during the cold, uh, here in Puerto Vallarta, we're complaining that it's freezy and cold, but it really is nothing compared to what's happening up north. Let me take a look at some of your comments. Uh, Profe Harper, ¿cómo estás, guapo? Um, I hope you're in province. I'm not in province. I hope you are here in town and not in Tepic. 
Uh, and I hope life is wonderful for you. Uh, let me take a quick look. La, 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 la. Uh, not missing today. Shop three hens and a rooster yesterday. Good for you. I heard, I saw a publication saying that the markets are going to be open yesterday and also the following weekend, which is great. Brandy says, my first trip here was awful, September 2014. It rained and was miserable the whole time. I've lived here full time now more than 2.5 years. Um, well, I hope your life is full of sunshine now, Brandy. Yes, it is. I can understand when sometimes tourists get here and have expectations of a certain kind of weather and beach and sun and so forth and so on. And sometimes it's just not that way, it's particularly during the summer months. But I hope your life is not miserable anymore. I hope your life is absolutely full of Puerto Vallarta wonder. Deb says, my first trip to Puerto Vallarta was after visiting Yucatan for 35 years. Never thought of living here, but one trip to PV and I was smitten. See, I, that happened to me too. It was a matter of hours. I remember my first day in Puerto Vallarta, I walked to the artisan, the, 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 the market, on the Rio Cuale, and I insisted on having market food, and I walked all over uh, Emiliano Zapata. I was staying right above Pancho's Tacos, so I was, you know, looking at everything around me with a, a sense of, of wonderment. It was really, really wonderful. Um, that video just changed my life, says Logan. I think you are referring to the sleeping rabbit. I don't see how the other one could have changed your life, but I am so happy that your life has changed. Uh, Raymond says, you do not want to do that with a sleeping elephant? Absolutely no. Uh, and Jeannie says, you haven't lived until you have a pooping rabbit. Well, I haven't had one, but if Luna is really crazy about this, well, maybe we'll just have to do that. Carol says, stay here at several all-inclusive resorts when our kids were young, relaxing but generic experience. We started coming as independent travelers in 2016 and loved it so much that now we own two condos here. Love this textured city. What a great way to describe our city, a textured city. Um, Mihal says, I have been that UPS guy. I have been that UPS guy too. I mean, it happened to me when I used to live in Boston. I love it. Um, and Felix is right. God bless package delivery workers. Absolutely. I was always very nice to the ones that came to visit me with all kinds of um, different results, actually. <laughs> Uh, Karen tells us about her first trip leaving Minnesota in minus 20 degrees. Ouch. Ouch. Um, I fell in love, in love with PB immediately or in laugh. I love it. And I have returned twice a year for the past 30 years. That is wonderful. I'm glad that you consider this home. And I am sure you feel yourself a local Karen. I would too. Um, Profe, you're in Vallarta. I hope to see you while you're here. <clears throat> this is wonderful. Um, excuse me for much better. Uh, Dan says, we visited Puerto Vallarta for the first time in 2003, and it was the incredible Mexican people that make us fall in love with this community. You know, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. My wish for anyone in our cluster, in our community, especially if you are indeed locals living here, it's like every once in a while, go somewhere with someone that is going to experience that somewhere for the first time. Like if I hear there are new visitors or friends of friends that are here um, and they're going to go do something for the first time, I always like to be in that crowd. And it's going to happen to me this afternoon. My friends Tommy and Eric are bringing their friend, their brother, uh, Eric's brother, to my favorite restaurant upriver, Moro Paraiso, so that he can check it out because that's where we've been hanging out. And I want to see it through his eyes because whenever we have our we give ourselves the chance to see our surroundings through the eyes of somebody that sees them for the first time you invariably end up catching something new about them or at least that has been my experience and it has helped to keep me very much in love with our city for almost two decades um gay off first trip was in 97 been here eight years now um um, and you bought a bar, of course. Buy a bar, they said. <laughs> and you have no regrets. That's wonderful. Geoff, of course, is talking about his wonderful Apaches on Olas Altas, and it is really wonderful. Um, 
Tony came here on December 6, 1989 and moved into the apartment that I'd rented on the middle floor of a house on the corner of Iturbide and Matamoros. See, I also rented an apartment for the first uh, prior to arriving. I rented it for just a couple of weeks to get settled. These are wonderful stories. And um, Julie says, first time in Vallarta, 77. I was a child. I blame my mom for making me fall in love with the town. Good for you. Suzanne has been here for 25 years. I, I just love reading this because, because we all are going to get lost every now and then. We all are going to fall out of love um, with Puerto Vallarta. So again, I recommend just hanging out with people that are enjoying it and exploring it for the first time because it serves to charge batteries. Um, Paula's first trip was a disaster. Uh, oh no, then returned in 2015 to escort a dying senior for her last trip and fell in love with PV. Returned with my husband the next year and we can't get enough of it. What a great story. PV has impacted our lives in so many ways. So this is not about me, it's about Puerto Vallarta and why we love this place so much. Over 25 years ago, we came for two weeks and stayed in the marina. Uh, wandered around downtown. Malecon was very different. Puerto Vallarta just grabs your heart and stays there. There you go. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So that's that's what it's like. So for me, I came here and uh, of course I became busy with uh, Vallarta Lifestyles Publishing Group. That was my, my source of income for many, 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 many years. But I continued to do all kinds of freelance work as a photographer. I used to have a lot more time for it before, but now you know I'm very, very, very happy with the work that I do with my friend Paul from Hotel Mercurio and representing his um, his hotel and his line of swimwear in social media. And uh, sometime last week, I mentioned that I was going to be photographing some uh, sexy men wearing a bathing suit, and some of you expressed some comments of, well, I'd like to be there and so forth and so on. Well, we decided to rock the internet a little bit this week with this image that I took at Hotel Mercurio. Yes, uh, Mercurio Swim now has a sexy line of bikini, teeny, teeny, weeny bikini thongs for men. And I had the pleasure of uh, photographing this and we put it on Instagram and we put it on Facebook and uh, and it was not removed. It was wonderful. And, um, and occasionally I do accept other um, <clears throat> opportunities to help and, and, and collaborate with my friends that are doing creative stuff. Last night, this is from last night, I had the pleasure of to, doing some photographs of my dear friend Edgar, uh, who is preparing to do a one woman show uh, coming up, as you know, Edgar works at Seasons PV, and many of you know him because of his character, Miss Bibi, and he is preparing to do an entirely new monologue in Spanish. I was a little taken aback because I ended up between his tits, her tits. Um, oh my God! And he bought these things. He, you can order these things from from China. That it's like a vest. And it has like silicon knockers that are like the craziest thing. Uh, personally, this is more of my style, if I may say so myself. This was from another photo shoot that I recently did for Paul and his uh, swimsuit line. And of course, if you are wondering, was I feeling something behind my neck? Yes, I was feeling something behind my neck. And just as you cannot go through life without a pooping uh, rabbit, you cannot go through life without, uh, at some point in your life, feeling a little something behind your neck. Although that might not be for everybody. That might not be for everybody. But I have this thing, this thing. I mean, uh, drag queens seem to like like what I do, and I like what drag queens do. This is Trick Trixie from uh, the Kinsey Six. She was not so happy when I tried to get between her boobs, and she started harassing me. It was horrible. I was really scared. No, I'm just kidding. Trixie, I adore Trixie. And every time that uh, that uh, the Kinsey Six have called upon me to do photographs with them, I I jump. I jump in a heartbeat because because they are wonderful friends and they're great artists. And it is just such a pleasure 
to be able to nurture their craftsmanship with my images. So, um, so yes, that is my head, a big bald head. There's, there's very little to hold on to up here. So, I mean, if you wanted to do the, you can't because I would have to be wearing a wig. Let me see what other comments I see here. Um, let's see, do, be, do, but, but we have more uh, stories of first time arrivals. Let's see. Um, let's see. Stephanie says, first time, July 2015. Spontaneous move to PV in July 2017. This is home. Good for you. First trip for us was 1980, 40 years ago. Wow. Wow. We visited first time February 2019, was blown away and moved here January 2020. That is a fast move. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, Terry Open Beach Crossers January 1st, 2014. It's been such a pleasure to get to know you, Terry, because what you do with your company providing um, help for people to enjoy the destination is something that nobody else is doing specifically the way you guys do it. So I wish you much, much success in 2021. Absolutely. Uh, Claude's been coming down for 30 years, uh, living here for three years now. That is super awesome. Uh, oh, I love this one. Our first trip, um, 1989 to a green airport that smelled, fell in love and being back every single year once or twice. Uh, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. Tim, you've been here for quite some time, um, for time, came for the first time 1994 with your ex have been coming down with your new partner for the last 10 years. That is so wonderful, so wonderful. Uh, I only want to see the new swimwear if you and Paul are modeling them. That can be arranged. I have taken sexy photos of Paul wearing his swimwear because at some point in the campaigns we were like, well, real guys or normal guys. No, not real guys, but normal dudes with a belly like me. We can wear Mercurial Swim. And yes, we can. Absolutely. Um, Michal wants me wants to get me Paco while I'm working. Wants to get me coffee while I'm working. Well, we can arrange that. Jeannie, who I think you're a photographer as well. Am I looking for a second shooter? You never know. Maybe one of these days. Um, James wants to volunteer to pick up the towels. Uh, you'd think these photo shoots are really sexy, and they're very mundane, actually. Uh, Trixie from the Kinses, she's a one bad bitch. That's why I am so crazily attracted to her. I have to say that Trixie... I, I just think he's he's a gorgeous man and he's a gorgeous woman. And whenever I have the opportunity to photograph him, I love the four Kinseys, but I have a soft spot for Trixie because he is just so fucking crazy in a good way with his expressions and everything that he does. It is just, it's heavenly to play with him with a camera. And, and then you can say to Trixie things like, uh, things like, you know, make a face like the other three Kinsey's just farted and it stinks and she will make the perfect face and everybody laughs and I have such fond memories of doing photos with them. It's not even funny. Um, let's see. Uh, Susie gave us a, quite an account. I'm going to read it off screen because I don't even think this is going to fit. Whoa, it fit. Uh, first time to Puerto Vallarta in November 1985. And you came with friends, fell in love immediately. Good for you. It's been 40 years that you've been coming. Oh, how wonderful. That wonderful. So this is all, this is all really good stories. I love it. I love it because that means that we have yet another thing in common uh, with one another, which is our love for Puerto Vallarta. Um, mm, uh-oh, you mean you're not mentioning your husband? Seriously, Geoff, just kidding. No, I mean, this is all wonderful, and this is what my anniversary is about. Today, I remember the good times, the challenging times, uh, the things that I could have done differently, the things that I've learned from, the things that I had yet to learn from, as it, um, as it relates to living here. And uh, for the vast majority of the years, ever since I arrived here, 18 years, it's gonna be 19 today, my balance comes out favorable, way, way favorable. 
I will not regret my decision of moving here. And, uh, and today, as we continue through the day, it's going to be one of those days in which I will continue to, to think and remember all these great experiences, challenging experiences, and thinking about what, what lies ahead. And what lies ahead for me is uh, continuing to nurture this amazing project that you've given me. Uh, because this project is only possible thanks to you, to your engagement, to your wonderful anecdotes, and I'm getting I'm getting goosebumps here. Um, this has been uh, a wonderful opportunity to continue to be relevant, to continue to be useful, and and that's my best wish for everybody that joins us on a regular basis. Um, I I I dread the day in which I wake up and I have nothing to do or nothing productive to share or not be inspired or be inspiring to others and that is my best my best uh, wish for anybody that is watching today um, more um, aterrizado or more with my feet on the on, on the on the ground what's next well we have to continue to live through these crazy times that we're living in and make the best of it and finding incredible wonderful ways to make the best of it has become my favorite pastime and um and and i was having a great conversation with a friend yesterday about how we have the choice to make the best of what's happening or we have the choice to to not do that um i may or may not have mentioned this before and um and i know that i'm rambling a little bit but please indulge me it's my anniversary um I used to be a chain smoker. I used to, you know, way back when I was in my 20s, I could smoke. I could go through two packs of cigarettes a day without thinking of it. And thank God I stopped smoking. I respect people who continue to smoke, but I don't smoke cigarettes. I haven't smoked cigarettes regularly for many, many years. I mean, I think I quit. I quit while I was still in Boston, of course. So I quit in my mid-30s. But every now and then, I will light up a cigarette and I will start to smoke it, and I will smoke enough of it only to remind me of how much I hate them now. So it, it serves to have that kind of reminder. And what has, has that got to do with current situation? You know, all we have to do is go into some of the deeper, darker, most toxic um, avenues and roads that Facebook has to offer to realize that we have the choice of being really unhappy and miserable and toxic to ourselves and toxic to other people, or we have the choice of trying to make the best of what we have with what we have. And I have never been perfect, but more often than not, I've chosen to do the latter, certainly during the last year. And that my biggest, most fondest wish for each and every one of us here is that we continue to make the best of what we have. Uh, because life is going to continue to be colorful and strange and weird, and life is going to continue to be like our favorite correspondent says. Let's invoke him because I think the time is right. <laughs> yes, what the fuck? And we're going to continue to have a bunch of us in the near future. So we're going to have to sail with the best possible attitude we can. Um, and I don't mean to be preachy. I appreciate like the, 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 the comment from James, I can skip church this morning. I say it's never my intention to be preachy. It's more always my intention. I mean, I appreciate that, but my intention is to share my view of the world and, and, and Luna's view of the world and hope that we can have some things in common. And I think we have found some, and that is absolutely wonderful. Um, if there's no other thing going on, let me take a quick look at your comments before we start saying goodbye. Um, oh, before we do that, a big reminder again, tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow, is the day in which we usually share updates about COVID-19, and we will certainly do that. But tomorrow is also the Holy Innocence Day, and I remind you once again that tomorrow is that one day in which newspapers and news outlets allow themselves, or may I say allow ourselves, to play pranks with the news. So I will, um, so don't be so shocked if you 
uh, hear something that is really far-fetched and unbelievable tomorrow. So before you hear something far-fetched and unbelievable tomorrow and think, oh shit, is that really happening? Remember, it's the Holy Innocence Day. So we're gonna have some fun with our headlines tomorrow. And uh, I hope I will see you then. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I hope I will see you sometime in the near future. Uh, find your anniversary if you don't remember when was the first the, the, the first time you came here find your anniversary celebrate it uh, to me today it is far more meaningful than Christmas and New Year's combined and I'm so very very glad and grateful to have spent a little bit of time here with this uh, community that again you make me feel so welcome in oh. All that said and done, let us wrap it up. It is Sunday. The weather is absolutely gorgeous today. As you know, I'm going to go hiking with my buddies. And I hope that you want to come hiking. And if you don't want to come hiking, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful time. And I hope to see you again soon, hopefully tomorrow. Have a great day.